Okay, so now we're going to go over uh, nebulizer medications. Um, so it's a little bit, it's a lot like a puffer, um, just a little bit different. It's aerosolizing those um, inhaled medications. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes for it to run through, um, and the person will either hold a pipe to breathe it in or inhale it, um, or we can uh, attach a mask to their face um, and they'll breathe it in sort of passively that way. Um, so to start, you would actually start in your med room because this is a medication. Um, it is supplied through um, pharmacy. Um, so these are this is sort of what the nebulizer looks like. Um, and you would want to make sure you have an order for this. Um, and then you'd be using your MAR and your uh, medication administration principles to prepare it. Um, but we're just kind of going to start here uh, to show how it's delivered. Um, so this one is a combivent, so it's a combination of atrovent and ventolin in one um, little nebule here. Um, so you may hear this referred to as the nebule, um, or some people do call it the nebulizer, um, whereas actually the nebulizer is this little device that aerosolizes the medication. Um, so we'll go over how to use this now. So you do need oxygen to run through this to aerosolize it or to nebulize it. Um, once you've done all your checks and know that this is, um, of course, the correct patient and correct medication um, and all your correct rights, then you can go ahead and set this up. So you open this cap here, it just spins off, and then you can, you squirt the entire contents, as long as it's the correct dose, um, into your um, nebul nebulizer um, canister. And then you close the top back up. And you don't want to, to move this thing around too much because it can leak, so you kind of just hold it upright. This then goes in the garbage once you're done with it. Um, in lab, though, we do keep them, so just kind of note it would go in the garbage, but um, for lab, please keep them aside um, for the next person. So this can attach uh, quite easily to your um, simple face mask, um, and then um, again to oxygen and we'll go over that but that's how it connects uh, to the simple face mask if you're doing it that way and I'll just show you um, there is a, a slightly different method of delivery with a pipe system this comes in three pieces and you just put it together it's pretty straightforward and it can connect uh, to the pipe so this is the mouthpiece and then this is the part um, with the extra air gets um, exhaled or pushed out so that would be the mouth version or the mouthpiece version um, and to connect to either, the oxygen connects to the bottom of the nebulizer device, just like that, the oxygen tubing, and the other portion um, connects to the wall adapter here. So when you're setting this up, um, to know how much oxygen you need to um, deliver the medication is based on about how much oxygen it takes to aerosolize it, so until you see that mist. So we'll turn it on. It's usually some anywhere between six and 10 liters, um, but we'll turn it on to about six. And it kind of helps to hold it up to something darker so you can see the mist, uh, misting there. So that is good. And we have it at about seven liters, six liters per minute of oxygen. So this is where you would ask the patient to hold on to it, take full deep breaths, um, to, to really inhale it and get it um, deep into the lungs there. Um, and that this is gonna take about uh, 10 or 15 minutes to, to complete the medication. And um, when you come back uh, in that time and it's done, you'll notice that there's uh, little or no medication left in the canister here. So then the other method that we talked about um, is with the simple face mask attachment. Um, so same idea, turn it up and you wanna just watch it miss there. So about seven liters this time, got it to mist, and we'd attach it to the person's face. A Couple of things, um, again, of note, uh, with a nebulizer, or again, with any oxygen, um, if the person uh, or patient's condition can tolerate it, we wanna have them sitting up. Kinda of helps take those full deep breaths and expand those lungs, get that um, medication as deep as we can. Um, so having them sit up. Another thing that's important um, with the, the nebulizers, and we talk about this a lot with puffers, um, but after the medication's being delivered, because it is inhaled through the mouth, right, you may um, 
you would want to advise them to rinse their mouth and spit if they can to get that medication, especially steroids, um, out of the mouth because um, those can cause um, oral thresh. Um, and then also in some situations, especially with uh, Atrovent, you may want to cover their eyes or ask them to close their eyes because it can be irritating to the eyes as it is an anticholinergic. So um, just keep in mind those, those things um, when you're delivering um, oxygen or the medications via nebulizer, um, either pipe or face mask. So that's it for nebulizer.